Hey everybody, this is uh, Jim at FreeChartVideos.com using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as any form of actual investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and make investment decisions that are suitable for your financial situation. And look, I am not a licensed professional. I'm just a guy. A regular guy who draws lines on charts. Well, looking here at a, a daily chart of the uh, S&P 500, you can see um, that really from from this March that we had up really nicely uh, from the uh, 11, uh, where we got down to 1040, it actually as low as uh, uh, almost a, a little over what? Did we dip? Did almost dip down under 1,000 back here last July, but didn't. And uh, funny, we get another dip here. But uh, make a long story short, um, for the past five months, one, two, three, four, five, almost six months, the markets really have gone sideways. And uh, I tell you what, when it goes sideways like this, it is not easy uh, to. To, to trade, it's not easy to always know the direction of the market because we are still uh, in this pattern that is uh, defined by this upper blue line and this bottom blue line. And I'm calling this right now an area of congestion. The reason I'm not calling it a consolidation is because I, I have a very narrow definition of what a consolidation is. And, the, and, and to me at least, and this may not be the way everybody does it, but to me, a consolidation implies that, uh, that the move uh, continues uh, in the same way that, it, that, uh, that led to that consolidation. So we come up from below in a nice rally, then we go sideways for a while. In my book, uh, it, this is not a consolidation pattern unless it is consolidating, regaining strength for another move up. And uh, that means it could it could be a reversal. So anyway, um, I, I guess I guess uh, that may that may be just getting getting a little bit uh, semantics, maybe not that important really. But anyway, um, you know, I showed you uh, for the past weeks, how long has it been? Um, yeah, past couple of weeks. That uh, that the uh, S and P appeared to be in a pullback pattern, and what made me feel that way was the fact that any time you've got a pattern that is coming down in a wedge shape, that wedge typically means there's a lot of selling pressure at the top, and as it slowly comes back down, the whole the, the whole impetus that started this thing off begins to peter out. And I believe that is what has happened uh, today. A very strong move. Uh, frankly, a lot stronger than what I was anticipating. And that makes me, at this point, kind of a stupid bull. Because I did what I said I was going to do. And, uh, and I still think I did the right thing nine times out of ten. And that was... I bought on this bottom line. I said I will sell on a touch of this top line. And I actually sold my 3x fund uh, pre-market. Figuring, well, if we break out of this, we will come back and back test. Um, and you know something? I still think we will come back and back test. Uh, we got to do it pretty soon, though, because this back test... Uh, would would eventually be um, uh, too low to for it to continue the trend, so uh, it's possible that uh, that we uh, that we check out this gray line right here. That could uh, represent a a back test as well of this larger uh, line of resistance that got broken here, back tested, got taken out, and now it's broken up again. So it's possible that this could be a line that would uh, stop any downward momentum. But I want to remind you 
that, uh, you know, you see a day like today and you think, oh, wow, this is just great. We're going to go zip straight on up to 1480 now. Um, I, I think that's very dangerous thinking. Uh, we did get a bounce on this black line. Like I said, everything played out exactly how I thought, um, except we didn't get the back test. So I am sitting around right now. Uh, I'm about 60% uh, invested, maybe a little bit more, in individual stocks and had a pretty good day today. But unfortunately, uh, the one thing I really want to get into was the strongest thing on the boards today just about, and I almost bought it yesterday. I just couldn't quite pull the trigger. Maybe that's a lesson to learn, but that's uh, Sox L up what eight nine percent today and i didn't buy it yesterday i kept thinking if it breaks out the same story as the s p if it breaks out it'll pull back well let's uh talk a little bit more about the s p um, the first thing is we now are looking at a situation where we have one two three four levels of support underneath this current level at 1326 and as I see it we've only got two expected areas of resistance this blue line and this orange line so right now the the S&P as far as I can tell is free to roam between here and here and if it breaks this then it's free to get up here so it's in pretty good shape. I'm just, uh, I really would like to see a little bit of weakness. I'd like to see uh, a back test uh, come up um, over the next, you know, maybe tomorrow or, or uh, Thursday. Because I want to get, uh, I really would like to be in Sox L right now. Uh, but again, you know, I'm not going to chase it. It's got to come back to my, to my price. And, uh, you know, I'm, this may be a lesson learned that I take it to the bank uh, next time uh, the, the bottom line is tagged. But uh, for right now, that's just the way it is. And if I watch, uh, I may have to watch Soxel run on up to uh, 50. But if I do, you know, so be it. Um, here it is right here. And you can see the same pattern that I was looking at. And I kept, I kept thinking, if it breaks out, it'll come back one more tag, just like it did back here, right? And look, up, a little consolidation, and then start it up again today. So if you're long Sox L, uh, be careful, because I still think that there is going to be uh, some reaction uh, off of this strong move today, up almost 10%. And I almost bought it yesterday right here on the tag of that bottom line. Doggone it. Didn't do it. So anyway, look, guys, that's the uh, update for today. See, I can be stupid, too, uh, but I'd rather be stupid by, uh, by, by missing moves than stupid by just watching things get completely uh, away from me in the negative direction or chasing. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Please, when you get a chance, visit freechartvideos.com. I'm still trying to keep it free. I'm kind of sitting on the fence about that. And uh, so anyway, throw in your two cents if you get a chance. Thanks.